Good morning, World Changers. It is day 55 of the 100 Days of Self Discovery Challenge. As you know, every day I pose a thought provoking question, and the idea is that you write that question in your journal, you take 10 minutes out of your day just to reflect on that question and get to know yourself better. Because when we get to know ourselves better, we start to think better, we make better choices, and when we make better choices, we get better results, and that's when our world starts to change. And if every single person had their own personal development practice, we would see the world, a massive ripple effect, and then positively see the world changing for the better. So, when you think that you can't make a difference in the world, you absolutely can. It's just about starting with you, developing yourself and really going to work on yourself and reaching your true potential. So today's question is, what surprised, what has surprised you most about your life? So again, what has surprised you most about your life? So regardless of what age you are, where you are in your current situation in your life, think back over the years on what has been some of the biggest surprises. So both positive and, I'm not going to say negative, but um, challenging, I suppose, is the word, but from the challenges and the obstacles come growth. So even though they're absolutely horrendous at the time when you're in the thick of it, you know, think about how you've grown from those experiences and how you've changed from those, those experiences and what you've learnt and what you've taken away from those experiences, you know, the challenging experiences. And equally with the um, positive experiences that you've had in life. Unfortunately, I think we take uh, positive experiences for granted. We don't tend to look at them so deeply. However, our negative or challenging experiences, you know, pain does tend to instruct and we learn a lot more from it. So, some sub-questions for you to think about. Think about how the surprises in your life, how they have influenced your decision making, how have you grown from that experience, like I said, you know, how has it shaped you and how you've gone forward, have you gone forward with growth or are you stepping back, you know, being staying stuck? Are you in fear? Are you have you developed limiting beliefs as a result of those things that have surprised you in life? What effect has this had on you and your world? Think about how it's affected your relationships, uh, your uh, work, your health, and just your overall general happiness. You know, is it impacted and influenced you in a positive way, or has it again, like I say? held you back from reaching your true potential or moving forward in the way that you would really like to move forward. Uh, think about how it motivates you. Does it motivate you? Has the Have these experiences motivated you because in terms of you want to get away from that situation or is it because or is it has it held you back? You know, are you looking at that situation and thinking I don't want to go there again or have, again, have you learned and grown from those experiences and you thinking, yes, okay, I learned a valuable lesson and that has, you know, catapulted me forward. So some of the things that have uh, surprised me in my life, uh, you know, when I first read this question, it, it just very much, I, it was very much how the last 10 years of my life have dramatically changed. And... You know, if you said that I was doing all this, if you said I'd set up a business, you know, and what is surprising me continually is how the speed of change of things that are happening in my life now. And I didn't have any of those. Um, I mean, before I started a regular personal development practice, change, I was not experiencing positive change. I was not experiencing opportunities. I was not being creative and thinking about where my life would go or what I wanted from life and I certainly was not beginning to create them. So, and I'm saying I'm surprised, but I know this stuff inside out now and I know the benefits of a personal development practice. I should not be surprised by the level of change that I have gone through in the last 10 years because, because I'm working on myself, I am creating this. And, but it never ceases to amaze me, the opportunities that come. And when I think back over my life before I started, um, you know, being life coached and 
you know, becoming a personal development junkie. I think about, you know, my life wasn't bad. I mean, yes, I had some horrendous challenges, lots of bereavements and lots of losses and things like that and lots of challenges. Yeah, absolutely. However, I never really kind of looked at my life and thought my life was bad or it's crap. I considered myself quite blessed and lucky. I knew I was in certainly a better off situation than a lot of people. However, there was always this under level, underlying level of dissatisfaction. I just always never quite felt happy and thriving and, you know, I was just going through the motions and painting, not so painting a smile on my face, but, you know, it was, it, it's just at that time I didn't actually realise that there could be more to life. I had no concept of this life I have created right now and I never would have had a concept of that life if I had not started working on myself. So. As you can see, I'm hugely passionate about personal development and that is what, why I do what I do because I would just love everybody in the world just to be thriving and, you know, living their true potential, living with health and happiness and vitality because if we were all doing that, could you imagine the ripple effect of that and how everything would improve and how we'd get on and how the world would connect and how we would improve this world and this environment that we live in. So anyway, that's my check-in for today and the question for today. I look forward to your reflections. Feel free to share them in the comments below um, or join our Change Your World uh, personal development group on Facebook. It's private and it's free and you can share your reflections in confidence there and in private there. And if you're enjoying these 100 days of self-discovery, please tag somebody in this post, spread the love, share the share on Facebook, on so, any social media platform and let others start their journey of personal development and improving their life and creating the life they really truly want to live. All right, loved you all, take care and I'll see you tomorrow.